and the knees out wide and just stretch yourself long on the mat, drawing your forehead down to the floor, forward, forward towards the floor. Just in a, a state of arrival and surrender. Coming right away into your breath awareness. You're just noticing the quality of your breath. Nothing needs to change or shift. Unless you want it to. Spread out each finger and press the palms gently down into the ground, forward and down and let that draw your shoulders back and create some space for your arm bones and all the joints in your arms and hands. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Expand the space around your ribs. Relax your jaw. Again, come back to your breath awareness. And let your low back and hips draw down toward your heels. And just with that little scan, you may feel a shift of, of where you are in your body right now, but just take a little scan of where you are right now. Let's walk the arms over to the left and stretch out the right side, anchoring the right hand with the left and drawing back through the outer right hip. Create some space around your waist. You may walk your right hand even further to the left to get just the sweet spot for your stretch. And take some nice breaths here. Just two or three. Ins and outs. On the next exhale, open your mouth and let out some sound, a little sigh, a little release. And let's move our way back through center and walk on over to the right. And again, you might anchor down the, the left hand with the right and draw back through that outer left shoulder, roll the inner left elbow up toward the sky and draw back through your outer left hip just focusing attention on the left side and any movements or any just noticings might create a little shift. Just a couple more breaths, focusing in on the breath, following your inhales and exhales throughout the practice as best you can. On your next exhale, take a nice sigh out the mouth, open your mouth, let your jaw hang loose, uh, make some sound. Come on back through center. And let's take a moment, come onto your elbows. You could also place blocks at the front and place your elbows on blocks. So you could be down on the mat if you don't have <clears throat> blocks or um, up on some blocks, any height. Draw your palms together, steeple fingering your fingers up toward the sky, curl your toes under, and go ahead and sink your hips back again. This time the heart melts down toward the ground. There's like a little uh, ski slope shape to your spine. So really lengthening as well as letting the spine kind of drape. You might move your hands a little bit back and forth. You might feel a little shoulder opening that way. Head hangs, just let it release down toward the floor. Belly draws in. Take one more breath here and gently come out of it your way. We're gonna have a seat onto toes pose. So the toes are curled under already. Walk your way back so your heel, your hips drop down onto or near your heels. If this is a really uncomfortable pose for you, uh, you can instead choose to sit on a block or a little something, a little rise, but have those toes curled under. Palms press down onto the front thighs for a moment, just a little massage that way. 
Coming back into breath awareness, finding your way back to a tall spine. Again, coming in and out of toes pose as is good for you. And then we'll go ahead and circle out those shoulders, forward, up, back, and down. Coming in and out of toes pose, moving the shoulders, letting the head kind of go easy movement around with those shoulders. It might not be around, it might just be side to side. And bringing the circle of the elbows in, and the wrists and the fingers. <sighs> feeling the wings of your arms, feeling how much freedom you have as you backstroke through the arms. Pausing at any places that feel tight, bringing the arms as close to your body as you can with that. And then interlace the hands and drop the palms down toward the floor. You might come in or out of toes pose now, squeezing the shoulder blades together, opening the chest, tucking your chin down towards your chest, shoulders drop down away from the ears and just nice stretch for the back of the neck. It might feel nice to sway the arms a little side to side. You may need a strap between your hands, by the way, that's totally great. And bring this into um, stillness, arms right uh, in the center, and then let your, your chin trace along from shoulder to shoulder. Chin is tucked and just side to side, shoulder to shoulder. Come on back through center and release the hands and let your right ear come toward your right shoulder. Right hand comes to left ear. Ah, and walk your left fingertips out and away from your body, lifting your fingertips up toward the ceiling, opening the inner wrist here and opening the side stretch for the neck. You might pull your hair with your hand, if you have a hair to pull. And then switch it out, drawing the fingertips in toward the inner wrist so the back of the wrist opens. Just wiggle those fingers. And tuck your chin slightly, just changing the angle of pull a little bit. Circle out the wrist now. And then go ahead and draw the back of the hand to the back of the heart. And if it's possible, clasp fingers. If not, hold on to your shirt or use a strap. Right elbow is up left elbow is down. I'm going to invite you to bow forward, fold forward. You may not get very far or you may touch all the way down. So you, you see, find the place that is just right for your body. Keep the elbows moving in opposite directions. Take another breath and gently rise, rise, rise up, release, just move around a little bit through the through the spine, let's actually come onto all fours and just take some cats and cows or spirals just to release the spine a little bit. And we're gonna come into a neck stretch for the second side. So you may return to toes pose or you may have a seat onto that block, reestablishing your base, finding nice length for your spine. And then go ahead, bring the left hand to the right ear, stretching out the side neck on the right and walk, waltz your fingers away from your body and let the fingers float, lifting the fingertips up, opening the inner wrist, a nice stretch there, as well as the beautiful stretch for the side of the neck. Take a breath into that space and then draw the fingertips in toward the inner wrist and just give them a little wiggle. So you're opening the back of the wrist this time. And then come into a little wrist circle, tucking the chin a little bit, just changing the angle of pull. Again, you might tug on your hair. It might feel amazing. Find your, just the, the delights that come to you as you enter into this practice. Draw the back of the right hand to the back of the heart. And if it's possible, clasp fingertips or use a strap or a towel. Take a moment with a long spine and a connected core. Draw the left elbow point up and the right elbow point down. You might stay right here, or you may find your way into bowing. You might bow a little or a lot. 
forehead may touch the ground. Elbows still moving in both directions. Squeeze the shoulders together in the back and breathe. And find your way back up to all fours and go ahead and take some cats and cows or any movements that feel nice for your spine and your neck. Just moving your body in the way that feels freeing and that you're finding some connection to your breath and your movements. And you're also connecting in with the three halo points of your body, the hips, the shoulders, and the head. Ah, taking a couple more breaths. You might circle out each wrist once again. Let's go ahead and curl the toes under and rise our way up to downward facing dog. And go ahead and walk out that dog, bending one knee and then the other. Connecting in with your core, scoot your belly in strong. And let that help you lift higher through your hips, straight and down with the palms into the ground. Shoulder blades drawing down the back. Heels coming to or toward the floor. Engage your thigh bones. Engage the muscles of your thighs. Get long and strong. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale, come forward, high plank. Inhale, draw, up, full, draw back, downward facing dog. Exhale, press forward, high plank. Inhale, come on back, down dog. Moving forward, high plank. Press on back, downward facing dog. Launching the right leg high to the sky, circle out your right ankle. And those toes should be nice and warmed up after toes pose, but come into the connection with your toes. Bend your knee and roll your hip open and press your right foot toward your left shoulder. Dropping your right armpit, pulling back through the outer left hip, circling the right knee now. Just take your time with it, pausing, really treating that hip joint with kindness coming into lubrication. Meet me with the right leg high to the sky, pull back through both heels, press forward through both palms, squeeze into with the belly, big breath in. Exhale, rounded knee to nose and pause, and really round. Shoulders over wrist, belly is super strong here. Lift that kneecap toward the sky. Inhale, reach high again. And exhale again, right knee now to right elbow tricep shoulder, hold it. Lifting the kneecap up, squeezing the belly strong. Spine this time is long. Feel your strength here. One more breath. And then send the right leg back high, big breath high. And let's this time step the right foot forward, stay on the ball of the left foot, reach the arms back behind you and interlace the fingertips, draw the shoulders down the back and breathe. Again, reconnect to your core, squeezing the belly in. Connect to your shoulder blades, drawing them in toward one another. Connect to your neck, finding great ease. See if you can let go a little bit more. One more breath. And let's go ahead and step, standing split, left leg close to the sky and bow your head down. You might use blocks under your hands. You might also play with balance, drawing one hand or both to the ankle. We're taking a little hop. Lift the left leg higher, bow the head down deep. Inhale, find an L shape now. Lengthen out to a flat back, reach the left leg long. Step that left leg far back behind you, bending the right knee. Just connect in as you dip your left knee down, sink through the hips, reach your arms high, interlace your fingers. Draw the palms skyward, the heart skyward. Drop the hips down into earth and breathe into the space between. Take one more breath here. And let's go ahead and step our way back strong. High plank, pause. Feel the heels draw back, the shoulders draw back. The crown of the head lengthen forward as the tailbone lengthens back. Lift your thighs, lift your belly, breathe. If it feels good for you, lift one leg 
up off the ground. One foot rises off the ground a couple inches. And in your own timing, switch other leg. Take a breath in. Exhale all the way down to the ground. Inhale, rise up gently, just a little bit, cobra pose. Lengthen through the thighs, lift through the heart, breath in. Exhale, come on down. Draw the hands back a little further and rise a little higher. Shoulders drop, heart lifts. Legs are long and strong, inhale. Exhale, come on down. One last time, rise up. This time, roll side to side, reaching one leg back behind you. And then as you roll to the other side, the other leg reaches back behind you. The top leg reaches back. Coming through center, rolling from side to side. <sighs> one more breath in the middle, inhale. Exhale, come on down, all the way down. Inhale, rise up, high plank. Exhale, press back down, we're chasing dog. Take a breath in and a good sigh out. A nod, yes, to the head and a shake out, no. Lift the belly, let that help launch the hips higher. Spread the palms forward and the shoulder blades back. Heels drop to or toward the floor. Let's lift the left leg up to the sky and circle out the left ankle. And circle it out in both directions. Stack left hip over right, bend knee, roll the hip open. Spread through the four corners of the right foot. Pull back through the outer right hip. And in your own timing, come on into circles for the left knee. For the hip joint, lubricating the ball and socket. Breathing big. Lubricating your body with breath. Inhale, launch the left leg high, super high to the sky. Pull back through each heel. Press forward through each palm. Inhale. Exhale, round and squeeze in knee to nose. Hold it. Shoulders over wrists. There's a little rounding to your back and a lifting of your belly and that kneecap. Go ahead, inhale, rise it back up to the sky. And this time, left knee to left elbow, tricep shoulder, and hold it again. Feeling your strength. This time, feeling your length. Lift that knee, feel the core engage. Inhale, reach the leg high to the sky. Exhale, step forward, stay on the ball of the back foot, keeping the knee high for now. Feel both feet landing to the ground. Reach your arms back, interlace the fingers again, switching the clasp. Again, you could always use a strap for this. Draw the shoulders down the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Feel your full length. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, let right knee comes down, sink your hips even deeper. <sighs> Float your arms to the sky. Mm, lift your heart up as your hips sink, sink, sink. Really opening for the front of that right hip, that right thigh, one more breath. And let's fly into our standing split, launching the right leg high, bowing the head down deep. Shake out your head. Reach the leg higher, bow the head deeper. Play, explore, be reverent. One more breath. Let's step back strong, high plank this time and chaturanga, just hovering low push up. Inhale, up dog, opening both fronts of your hips, lifting the heart. Exhale, downward dog, pull on back. Take a breath in, take a big sigh out, bend your knees, look forward, spring step or float to the front. Reach out, lift and lengthen to flat back, long, strong belly. Exhale, fold it, bow it, ragdoll pose. Walk your feet wide, bend your knees a lot. Take your hands to your head or hair and just massage or pull or stretch or just gentle touch. Any places on your body that feel like, oh, 
I want to offer some love and attention here today. Knees can be quite bent or straight. Keep your breath deepening. If possible, filtering the breath through the nose and throat, keeping the mouth closed. Quieting the mind. Deepening the breath. Searching inward for what is truly important to you, what really matters, and making that into movement during this practice today. Release your hands. Toe heel your feet together. Bend your knees and roll your way up to standing. Reach your arms out wide and high. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow and just take a side to side. Let that feel really freeing for the side body. Opening through the waist, opening through the ribs, opening even through the outer hip and down through the legs. And of course, a wonderful shoulder opening. And then go ahead, float the arms high and walk the fingertips along the ceiling. Lift through the thighs, lift through your belly, your heart, your fingertips. Drop through the tailbone and heels and shoulder blades. Take one more breath. And exhale, let's fold and bow, swan dive down. Inhale, reach out, lift and lengthen, long flat back. Exhale, step or jump at high plank, chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, up dog, again, really spread the thighs open in the front, the belly lifts, the heart lifts, the eyes lift. Exhale, pull back down dog. Inhale, right leg high, bend that knee, roll the hip open. And let's squeeze in, round in knee to nose, hold it for a breath or two. Inhale, reach on up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, tricep, shoulder. Again, hold it for a breath or two. Inhale, that right knee high. This time we swing across the body, right to left, spin it out. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, we step forward, warrior one. Right foot steps, left foot spins. Rise your way up on inhale. Swing wide, warrior two on exhale. Inhale, reverse that warrior. And let's flow through vinyasa, just getting our bodies moving, whole body movement, moving through vinyasa, meet me in down dog, any way you wanna get there. Left leg close to the sky, bend the knee, roll that hip open. And then round and squeeze in knee to nose. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, tricep, shoulder, pause. Inhale, reach high, spin across left to right. Mm -hmm. Inhale, lift it on up. Exhale, we step forward, warrior one, left foot steps, right foot spins, rise your way up, lift your heart, lift your energy, stay grounded all the while. Exhale, opening warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And find your way back to down dog, flowing through your vinyasa. Maybe it's stepping straight back. Wherever you're moving, listen to the breath. Once you've arrived in down dog, take three breaths. One more breath in. Exhale everything out. Bend your knees, look forward, spring step or float to the front. Reach out, long flat back, inhale. Exhale, bow, fold in. Bend your knees, drop your hips, sweep your arms high, Utkatasana. And if you have a block and if you feel inspired, I invite you to squeeze the block between the inner thighs for Utkatasana. So, Engaging those inner thighs, sinking through the hips and heels, lifting through the toes and the belly and heart and the fingertips. Take a breath here. If you've got the block, keep squeezing it and fold and bow. Squeeze the block all the way down. Squeeze the block, finding flat back, 
belly strong, spine long. And find your way back somehow. Maybe you step, maybe you jump high plank with that block. Not all of you have the block, but if you've got the block, squeeze it. Let it help you find a neutral position. Heels draw back, crown of head reaches forward. Take a breath. Squeeze that block and lower down. Pausing on the ground, squeezing the block. Lifting the heart, squeezing the block if you've got it. Lift the belly, lift the chest, squeeze the block. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and remove that block. Reach the right leg high, bend the knee, roll the hip open. Step forward, warrior one. Right foot steps, left foot spins, come on up, on breath. Swing wide, warrior two, open wide. Give a little shimmy up to those shoulders and arms and head, just reminding yourself to loosen up. Reverse your warrior, sink deep through the right leg, spread through the back, take a breath. And we'll land, side angle, elbow to thigh, left arm over ear, reach long through the left side. Maybe you lift your right arm up as well, paralleling the arms. Wrap your top arm around the back, spin open, lengthen through your low back and let your gaze, if it's possible, go past the left shoulder. Take a little circle out for that left shoulder. And then look down toward the floor. And let's go ahead and find warrior two again. Inhale, reverse your warrior and find your way through vinyasa. Maybe it's heading straight through down dog, maybe through each point, breathing into each point. Breath in and a sigh out once you land down dog. Left leg flows to the sky, bend that knee, roll open. Let's step forward, warrior one, left foot steps, right foot spins, inhale, we rise. Exhale, we swing wide, warrior two, and take a little dance. Shoulders, arms, head, spine. Legs are strong. Reverse the warrior, inhale. Exhale, side angle, elbow to thigh, right arm over ear, and spread through that right side. Drop the shoulders down the back. If you want to parallel both arms, go for it. If you're ready, take a half bind, wrapping your right arm around the back. Circle out that right shoulder and invite the gaze past the right shoulder, spinning through the head and neck, nice and easy. Squeeze through the core, lengthen through the low back, take one more breath, and then rise back up to warrior two. Reverse, inhale and flow your way through vinyasa. Again, take your time, follow your breath. Mm, landing back, downward facing dog, three breaths. Each breath inviting you to come more and more into your own center, your own balance, mm, your own yes. Last breath in, exhale everything out, bend your knees, look forward, spring, step or float to the front. If you liked it, place the block again, inner thighs, find a flat back, squeeze that block, inhale. Exhale, fold and bow. Just take an extra moment to let go into that forward bend. Still engaged through the thighs, but the spine gets to hang. If you've got the block, squeeze it, inner thighs. Utkatasana, bend your knees, drop your hips, sweep on up. And just take a breath. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow and open up through the accordion of your side body, through the ribs, through the waist, through the outer hip. Reach high, big breath in, squeeze that block if you've got it. Exhale, fold and bow, let it go. Inhale, reach long, lift and lengthen, squeeze the block. And then we're gonna return to Utkatasana. Sink the hips, float the arms high. Exhale the hands to the heart. 
You might keep the block here, you might remove it. We're gonna spin left elbow past right thigh with or without the block. Elbow presses to thigh, thigh presses into elbow, heart, belly, ribs spin skyward, gaze as well. Maybe the arms open into big wingspan. Take a breath, one more breath. Now listen carefully. You're gonna come up on the ball of the left foot and you're gonna step it long back behind you. Block might go tumbling, all good. Spin and turn. Left heel reaches back, crown of head reaches forward. One breath here. And let's open wide into our warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, this time straightening right leg. Ah, walk your right fingertips along the ceiling. And hinge your way, triangle pose. Right side stays long. Right hand might land onto that block if you've got it. And left arm flows skyward. And take a moment to feel the big wingspan through the arms. Inner right thigh moves to the right. Heart spins to the left or up to the sky. Reach your left arm over your left ear for a big stretch for the whole left side. Ah, imagine your left fingertips reaching for your right toes. And we're gonna go ahead and gently bend the left knee a little bit to rise. Turn your toes in, turn your heels out and take a little dance. Hips, shoulders, head, maybe the arms, neck. <sighs> Just let everything feel fluid. Hands come to low back, elbows draw in close toward one another. Heart opens, heart lifts. Thighs lift. Feel a moment of freedom in your body, groundedness through the feet. And bow, hands stay at the low back as long as you can and then eventually make their way down to the floor, bowing in. Squeezing the belly strong with every exhale. Spine gets to dangle or forehead, uh, crown of head might touch the floor. Breathing here several breaths. Does stillness serve you or does movement serve you? Notice what your tendencies are. Two more breaths. Inhale, find your flat back and this time turn your toes out, your heels in and walk your way over to the right side, hands over to the right, toward the right foot and left heel, left foot, uh, Flexes, so your left heel is still on the mat, the left leg is long. And you may not be down far, you may be down far or not. Walk on over to the other side. Left hands to the left, right heel uh, to the ground, toes lift, spread open. We'll take one more round, walking on over to the right, spreading through the left leg, engaging through the left foot and toes. And in your own timing, walk back over to the left. You might spread your arms wide or up to the sky or to stay down at the ground. And then go ahead, walk back to the fronts of your mats. Step your way back, maybe through vinyasa or straight to downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, spring step or float to the front. Reach out to that flat back and tuck, tuck the block in if it felt good between those inner thighs, lengthening out, inhale. Exhale, bow, fold. Utkatasana, bend your knees, drop your hips, sweep your arms high. Sink those hips, sink those heels, lift the toes. Exhale the hands to namaste at the heart. And let's spin again, right elbow this time past left thigh or somewhere towards your right uh, elbow is moving toward the left. 
your hips are spinning to the right and your heart is turning up to the left. That block might feel amazing. It might offer you lots of information. Take one more breath. And you might need to remove the block and step your way back, right foot steps back, right elbow to left thigh again. Spin your heart, lengthen through the back leg. Breathe into the pose. Take one more breath. And let's go ahead and swing wide, warrior two. Just gonna turn around. Reversing your warrior, straightening your left leg. Opening up for that left side, big breath in. Exhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen through the whole left side. Left hand comes down to the ground or the shin or the block or the floor. Mm-hmm. Right arm reaches to the sky. Nice and long. As well as the breath, the body, and the mind. Hmm. Let's bend the left knee a little bit. Rise, rise, rise to standing. Take a little dance in the middle. Turn the toes in, the heels out, and just move your hips your ribs, your waist, take a little dance. This time interlace your hands behind you, drop the shoulders, lift the chest, drop your chin down toward the chest for a moment. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, look up. Stretch the front of the throat. Come back to neutral, straight ahead. Hands are clasped, maybe you need a strap. Full hinge bow. Hips go back. Arms lift up, head drops down. Ah, and just have your own adventure here. Follow your flow. You might reach those arms further forward. Start with them rising, the shoulders rising away from the earth. Legs engaged. Maybe the shoulders sway side to side, the arms move side to side, maybe. Ah, listen to your body. Listen carefully, be kind, and also, you know, find the right amount of challenge just for you. <sighs> find your way to flat back, inhale, lengthen and lift. And this time we're gonna walk hands around to the front and walk the right foot to the left and just set ourselves up for pigeon. So if you prefer to do this on your back, you can lie on your back. But here we are, right foot in front, left leg longing back. Take a breath, lift the heart. And in your own timing, you fold and bow. Enjoy. If you're attending to your head and neck, especially today, Really check in with it. How is it doing? Are you feeling frozen in space with your neck and your jaw and your shoulders? Can you find fluidity as you sink into this hip opener? Mm. Two more breaths. What could you release? And in addition, what supports do you need? Last two breaths. Gently, gently rise, rise, rise. Before we go anywhere, we're going to bend the back knee, the left foot. And you're going to reach back for the uh, left foot with the left hand. Maybe you can reach, maybe you can't. No, no have tos, no shoulds, nothing to look any particular way. This is a great opener for the front of the left hip, the left thigh. Spin your heart to the right. Take one breath. And we're going to go ahead and step it back. 
three-legged dog, downward facing dog. Give that right leg a nice kick, a good donkey kick. Straighten the leg and reach the right foot toward the left. Ground extra strong through the right hand. Big stretch for the right side. And then return back, downward facing dog. Just take a moment there to reset, to reawaken. We're just going to step the left foot right into it, straight forward, left foot to right wrist. Take the time you need to arrive in the pose. How is your jaw? How is your heart? How is your right leg? And then fold in, bow in. Slow your breath. Relax your shoulders if that's there for you. And just feel. Are you able to deepen your breath? Is there something you could let go of or a support you could seek out? I've got my blocks here for my chest as well as my forehead and it's just wonderful. Two more breaths. Let's gently rise. And before we go anywhere, go ahead and bend the right knee. And maybe the right hand could reach back for the right foot or something along the right foot. Maybe there's a strap that's helping you. Spin your heart to the left and draw the right heel in as far as you can. Again, no way this has to be or look. Nothing you have to do ever in your practice. This is your body and your time and your practice. Enjoy the time. One last breath. Mm, this time we're transitioning to lying on our backs. So take your time to lie down. Stretch yourself out long. Legs long and arms reach in opposition. If it's better for you to hug your knees in right now, by all means, do that. But once you've arrived with body long, just walk each limb out. So if you're reaching through your left heel, reach through your left fingers, or you might do crisscross, just see what feels nice walking, arms and legs opening up the waistline, meaning mm. with our feet on the floor, we're gonna come into a bridge pose. So if you're feeling uh, like you need a, a little rest, have your block handy, and we're gonna come up into bridge. We're gonna lift through the hips, press through the feet, and if you need the block, just take it underneath the hips. Um, so that it spans both hips and the sacrum in the middle. This might feel amazing. You could take it on any height. Otherwise, you're in a more active pose, um, drawing your heels in toward you, engaging through the hamstrings, squeezing through the glutes, lifting through the fronts of your hips, lengthening your thighs forward and your chest back. You might interlace your hands underneath you. Awesome. Awesome chest opener. Dropping the shoulders down the back. Take another three breaths. Last breath in. Let's come on down. And again, just lengthen the body long. Reach the arm. Reach the legs. Just walk it out. Ah. <sighs> We're going to transition into an inversion. So um, if you want to come in to a shoulder stand, you could come in through a bridge or you could just fly right back into a shoulder stand. Um, I'll walk you through it. Other options. 
Just lifting the legs up to the sky, a block tucked under the hips. Really, really great option. You can also bring your legs up against a wall since you're practicing at home. You got lots of lots of <laughs> different uh, things going on in different homes, so you you know what works best. So legs might just be to the sky. You could also come into bridge and walk your hands underneath your hips and lift your legs up, creating a platform with your upper arms. Hands are supporting low back, legs are lifting to the sky, chest is open, shoulders stand. So you choose any inversion of your choice. You stay for as long as feels good. If you're in shoulder stand, you might press your feet back behind you into plow, lengthening out the hamstrings and the, the whole back line of your body. If your feet touch the ground in plow, interlace your hands underneath you and straighten your arms out. You may choose to bend your knees by your forehead or on either side of your ears. And when you're ready, let's come on out of the pose, whatever you're doing, wherever you are inverting, just make your way out. And we're going to go ahead and tuck the palms underneath the butt, palms face down, backs of the hands are on the butt, legs lengthen out long again. So reach the legs long, draw the elbows in underneath you and Lift your chest coming on your forearms for fish. So open the heart, open the mouth, stick out the tongue. Ah. Lengthen through the legs, take another breath. To come out, tuck your chin, release, hug in. And let's keep the right knee hugged in and lengthen the left leg out along the mat. And lift the right heel up to the sky. Tuck your chin and lengthen out through your spine, out the crown of the head and out through the tail, and really open up through the right hamstring here. The hands could support your leg or you could use a strap. Take a breath, bend your right knee and take a twist. Right knee goes across the body, over to the left. Right arm reaches out, opening into this twist. Breathing into this twist. You might need to bend your right arm to get your right shoulder toward the floor. And think length for the right side of your body. Squeeze your belly in if that helps. Breathe. Finding your way back to center. Just take a moment in the middle and hug in and rock from side to side. Letting your head and your hips rock, your eyes look side to side gently. And left knee stays hugged in, right leg lengthens out long on the, left, on the mat. Really reach out long through that leg and then straighten your left heel up to the sky and straighten the left leg and really work opening through the hamstring uh, the calf and the foot, even the whole left uh, back body gets some length here. Take a breath or two. And when you're ready, hug the left knee into the chest, bend the left knee. And then take your twist. Left knee comes across the body, left arm comes open, out to the left. Again, you can bend that left elbow at 90 degrees if that feels really good. And just breathe. Bringing out. Connecting length on the left side. Mm. 
when you feel ready, coming out of the pose, just taking your time now. There's any last minute movements or, or any last minute pose that your body wishes for. Now is your time. We're finding our way, we're winding our way towards Shavasana. So if you're ready for that, go ahead and land into a resting position. When you are ready, you might put something under your knees or place a blanket over your body or something over your eyes. Find yourself in a place where you feel like you can rest and be completely neutral. A place where you could scan your body with openness and no judgment. A place where you could release any holding that you're having. Connect with Mother Earth. Deepen into the flow of things. Moving beyond your own body. Maybe an extra exhale takes you a little deeper. And take a big breath in. And again, another exhale, just sinking you a little deeper into the earth. And inhale, expanding and opening and receiving from the outside in. And exhale, releasing, letting go. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and let your head roll easy side to side. Hmm. Any stretches or touches or words or grunts, <laughs> release. Now is the moment, rolling on your side when you're ready and just hugging in, curling in, squeezing in, the beautiful ball of you. Sending yourself deep loving kindness and letting that ripple out and out and out and out. Finding connection, finding union, which is, after all, the translation of yoga, the yoke, to bring together. 
finding your way to seated, seat sitting and drawing your hands to your heart. Lengthening, opening, expanding your spine, your seat, moving in all directions at once. Take a moment to bow your head towards your hands and your heart. And then lift the thumbs up to the third eye center between your brows and let that lift you, lighten you, reach you outward beyond this physical body. Take a breath into that space. And let's bow to one another. Namaste.